everybody. Welcome to Dynamo Sword Channel. I'm David and today on Dynamo Sword Channel I will be reviewing the Hanwei Iga Ninja Toe. Now the Hanwei Iga is one of the premier Ninja Toe on the market today. So how does it hold up to other Ninja Toe as well as even other Katana? Well stay tuned and we'll find out. The Ninja Toe is a sword regularly discussed in recent years regarding its historical accuracy. Many believe the Ninja Toe, or as it's also known, the Shinobi Katana, is not historically accurate, with Ninja either using standard Katana or the Chisa, or as it's also known, Ko Katana, a shorter variant of the standard Katana, or just using basic Wakazashi. It is believed that the straight bladed ninja toe is a creation of modern ninjutsu masters, which was further popularized by the ninja movie craze of the 1980s, most notably brought to a worldwide audience by ninja movie icons Henry Sonata, Sonny Chiba, and Sho Kazuki. The ninja and ninjutsu itself were further popularized in other media such as Japanese manga, anime, and even American franchises such as G.I. Joe and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now regarding the Ninja Toe and its origins, there is historical evidence of straight bladed swords being used in Japan in the 7th century. This time was known as the Nara period and saw the Japanese using single edged straight blades known as Kara Tachi. Though these blades look like the Ninja Toe and maybe even were the inspiration for them with their Kira Zukuri blade style, it would be odd to see such a warrior, even one as secretive and mysterious as the ninja, to be using a blade type well over 700 years old. Even if the Ninja Toe's straight blade design is modern and has no historical accuracy, what we do know is the ninja themselves were real. This sword is inspired and made in homage to the Iga ninja clan. The Iga were famed throughout the history of Japan as the elite ninja. First employed during the Muromachi period as spies and assassins, afterwards during the Edo period they were rumored to be employed by the Tokugawa shogunate as elite guards and spies up until the 19th century. The Iga clan were renowned for their skills in espionage and guerrilla warfare, and today the history of the Iga clan can, is preserved by the Ninja Museum of Iga Ryu located in Iga Mei Prefecture, Japan. Established in 1964, it displays various writings, weapons, tools, and models to honor the history of the Iga ninja and the ancient art of ninjutsu. Now, let's look at the overall statistics of the sword. So the overall length of this sword is 33 and 3 quarters inches. It has a weight of 2 and a quarter pounds with a point of balance at right 3 inches from the hilt. The class of sword would again be what is considered a ninja toe or shinobi katana. The blade's total length is 21 and 3 quarters inches. The blade width above the habaki is 1 and a quarter inches and that slightly tapers to 7 eighths of an inch at the kasaki. The material is a differentially hardened 1566 high carbon steel. It has a maru lamination and its polish is mirror at the shinogi ji and the nagasa or ha is a nice satin counter polish the haman is a gunome pattern haman and as you can see due to its straight blade design there is no sori the kasaki is one and five eighths inch and is in the ko kasaki termination. 
the blade type would again be what is known as a modern ninja toe blade type or if you wanted to look at it historically you could consider it a kira zukuri blade type the suba dimension are three inch by three inch its material is a blackened iron the habaki is made of brass and is one inch and is a single piece the sepa are brass as well and are of the coin fret design the style of suba itself is what would be known as a kakugata or square suba with wave themes as well as featuring an iga mom. Now, the suka length is 10 and a half inches. It has a base circumference of four inches at the fuchi and that tapers down in waists to three and three quarters of an inch at the kashira. The suka material is wood core and it features aged white Samagawa panels that have small notes. The ito is a cotton ito wrapped in the Hineri Maki style with Kishigami. The Tang's total length is six inches. Now the Fuchi is blackened iron with a wave theme. The Kashira is also made of blackened iron in the Owari style with an Igamon at the end. The Minuki are a silver sun and silver moon theme and the hilt construction is a double Makugi pin with smoked bamboo as is normal for most production Japanese swords. So onto the Saya the Saya's total length is 25 and a half inches. The Saya material is wood and its finish is a nice high gloss black lacquer and features a rattan wrap at the top corner. The Koi Gucci is blackened buffalo horn. The Kuragata is iron and the Koijiri is this ninja styled iron spike. The Sagio is a nice thin black silk. Overall, the build quality on this sword is top notch for the price. Everything is tight and even and fitted well. The blade has a nice mild polish has no warps, mars, or other defects. The Haman is prominent, though has the frost enhancing typical of most Hanwei Japanese swords. The Kasaki is well shaped and polished, though differs from the uh, more seen Kamasu Kasaki style, seen more prominently on Ninja Toe. The Habaki is nicely fitted to the blade with no gap and sits on the suba and meets the blade very evenly. Honestly, it's the best hibaki fit I've seen on a production sword. The suba is attractive and finished beautifully. The lines are even and the details are prominent and nicely finished. It adds an elegance to the plain um, flat black seen on most ninja toe. The Kushira match the Suba and have the same quality and fit. The Fuchi sits flush to the bottom of the Seppa and it's fitted nicely to the Suka with no overlap. The Kushira is fitted tight and meets the Suka well with no movement. The Suka itself is properly shaped and feels great in the hand. The, Samapa, the Samagawa panels are good and of moderate well quality though small node and I do like the aging 
um, that Hanwei does to kind of dull the white of the Samagawa. The Manuki are detailed and attractive with a brass sun behind silver clouds and then on the other silver crescent moon behind black clouds. The Sukumaki is alternating and finished with Hishigami, making the diamonds very tight and even. The Ido is a high quality cotton and is comfortable in the hand. The overall Sukumaki job is excellent. The Saya completes the aesthetic and overall beauty of this sword. The rattan wrap and iron band kurigata and iron spike kojiri show this to be the sword of not just your standard Iga ninja, but the sword of a true master of the clan. Overall, I'm absolutely impressed with the fit and finish as well as the detailed aesthetic of this sword. Overall, as far as the Saya fit, it goes in smoothly, there is no drop, there is no rattle, and when it draws, it draws very smooth. Regarding Hanwei as a manufacturer, I believe they went above and beyond with this model at the price point. The extra aesthetic details compared to their practical ninja toe for only $150 more is very impressive. Compared to other functional ninja toe on the market, I've yet to see one that hits the aesthetic and the functional appeal of the ninja toe as well as this one. Most are sold in the sub $200 price range and are offered by manufacturers like Musashi, Masahiro, and Shinwa, though none of those offer the more traditional materials and fit and finish that this model does. There are of course various eBay vendors who offer Ninja Toe, but many of them are simply Kokatana or the straight Chakudo style blades with generic custom katana fittings. One model I have owned for many years was sold by swordandarmory.com. Uh, unfortunately, it hit, has long been discontinued. You know, this sword for the price of $100 was decent quality uh, and had the aesthetic appeal of a ninja toe, but its fit and finish reflected the price and again was nowhere near the level of this Ega model. This model does have a second version known as the Koga Ninja Toe. The differences are simply aesthetic though, as both feature the same blades and level of detail. Regarding either style, both are an excellent choice if you're looking for a high quality Ninja Toe. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Hanwei Iga Ninja Toe. Be sure to like and subscribe, as well as look forward to the cutting review with follow up discussion. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.